Hey, hello everybody. Claude Diamond here. Got an interesting letter on my Facebook page uh, from Dave Sewell. Uh, Claude, how do you begin a conversation with pre-foreclosure, lease pendants, cloud on the title, uh, up to a subject to deal? The prospects are facing foreclosure and most don't want to move out of their house. These type of leads can be very hostile and defensive. So Claude, you are selling with gut. You are the selling with guts master. Good move there, Dave. Uh, flattery will get you everywhere with me. How do we engage the hostile lead who is facing foreclosure? Any advice, words of wisdom, or a possible video would be much appreciated. Well, I do read those letters and I do listen. Number one way to deal with a hostile prospect in a house, they're gonna lose their house anyway, they're not in the best mood. Um, you guys who make those phone calls and send those letters, I, you know, uh, the chance of a response is really minute. So what do you do? How do you get people's attention who are going to lose their home and they're figuring, well, I might as well stay in here until the sheriff comes and kicks me out. There's only one way. And I'm going to share a little secret with you. It's called money. It's called give them money. You take your billfold with a lot of hundreds and fifties and you just wave it in front of their house. Nice big billfold. Say folks, would you like cash? If you're on the phone, you can't show them unless you're video, of course. But you say, folks, would you like real cash today? If, we, if you, we can do a deal, I'm ready to give you cash. You can use that cash to pay off some bills, move to a new apartment, uh, go out for dinner, go to Disneyland. You can do whatever you want. Cash will get their attention. Number one pre premise of the gut sales method is, that peep, is the million dollar rule. People make immediate business decisions emotionally. What's the emotion we get with good old American greenbacks here? What's the emotion? Greed. Gordon Gecko in Wall Street, remember what he said? Greed is good. Get their attention with cash. They know they're gonna get tossed out sooner or later anyway. If you checked your numbers, you did your due diligence, check that title, have an inspection done of course, and you think there's something there and you can pay up the balance on the, pre, on the foreclosure or whatever, the outstanding due and bring it up to date and you still have a way to make money, then offer them some cash, walk into it. But do it the right way, do it the legal way. First of all, you gotta have your documents done correctly, sales agreement, uh, voluntary abandonment, check with your attorney on these. Have them all notarized, okay? And have all the principal parties on the title sign it. That's number one, okay? Um, you want to um, have them change the utilities. Make sure everything gets put into your name as far as the utilities. Do everything in a corporation, of course. I didn't think I needed to say that, but I maybe one or two of you that are still doing deals in your own name, don't. Minimize your liability, get better tax write-off, all the other good stuff. So put it in the LLC or S Corp or whatever you want to do, or even trusts and things like that. They do not get the money, listen carefully here, until they have signed the documents, they have moved all their furniture out, they have changed the utilities. When they hand you those keys and they've signed the documents, that's when they get the cash. Okay, good old fashioned cash. You can use a money order or a check too if you can get away with it, but sometimes cash just brings out, it brings out the good old avarice in people, okay? Um, no money, on, once again, until they have moved out, relinquished you the keys, changed the utilities, and moved, removed all their possessions, out of the house. You got to do all these things, guys. This is just the right way to do business. Make sure when they move out, the minute they move out, you have a locksmith standing there ready and waiting to change the locks immediately. You now have legal control and possession of the house, step by step. The only way, uh, Dave, to get their attention, to get them to react, is greed. You can say all the wonderful things that all the, some of these scripted gurus and stuff are telling them, but how do you get people's attention? Good old fashioned money, because sometimes greed is good if you're a business person and you're trying to get people to um, move away from their property. And it's also, a, it's a good way to do business. They get something, you get the house, hopefully now you can fix it all. Hope this helped. This is Claude Diamond. Remember, nobody deserves success more than you. I do answer my own phone, 970. 281-515 and I do answer your letters, okay? Take care. Have a good day. Go to my webpage too. I got a lot of free goodies there for you. Bye-bye.